you want the sanctuary to have a warm feeling when you walk in. So, you know, we'll, we'll paint the walls a, a nice warm uh, off-white or tan color. And, and then a lot of churches have beautiful architectural detail, like moldings and casings around the windows, and you just don't really appreciate it. So what we try to do is, is enhance those architectural details so that people can really appreciate their beautiful sanctuary. We have an interest in getting the job done in a timely manner. And we're not going to have um, uh, days that turn into weeks of having no activity going on in the church. There's going to be workers in there from start to finish. This is Central Church of God in Charlotte. This is the largest church of God in the United States. Notice in the before shots, they have brick walls, which were a cold, harsh treatment. Also, if you'll notice, the square pew ends. This is a shot during construction of the platform renovation. We completely rebuilt the platform, putting new conduit, new wiring under the platform. We brought the platform materials up to code. These are the same pews. We refinished the pews on site, reupholstered the pews on site, and changed out the pew ends with this new colonial waterfall pew end. In the after shot, we put hardwood floor on the entire platform. We have removable modesty screens. These screens, the choir chairs, all the instruments can be completely taken off this platform to give flexibility so that they can have different styles of worship during the course of the year. This is Oakland Avenue Presbyterian Church in Rock Hill, South Carolina. This is a beautiful Gothic church. Someone had renovated this church in 1982. One of the things that you'll notice in the after we renovated it we put in new lighting fixtures. We painted the walls a contrasting color with the architectural elements. We expanded the platform to make it larger, put a hardwood floor on the platform, and took down the barrier wall that separated the pulpit area from the congregation. The top left picture is one of the original pews that were in the church. The pews on the right were the pews that some other company had put in the church. These were made out of veneer and particle board and they were falling apart. So during the renovation, we took one of the original pews to our factory, had them replicated identically, and put these new solid mahogany pews in the church during the renovation. This is Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church. We did a cosmetic renovation on this church. One of the reasons that we were awarded this contract, the windows in this church are insured for $20 million. The church had the confidence that we would protect the windows and if perhaps we were to damage one of the windows, we know exactly where the windows came from and we have a relationship with a stained glass studio and we would be able to replace the windows. This is Two members of our crew cleaning the limestone. One guy is pressure washing and the other guy is vacuuming up the residual water. This is one of our crews doing some light refinishing on the pews. This is a shot of scaffolding that we had to have erected in the church, which cost about $50,000 just to rent the scaffolding. The reason that we put up the scaffolding, the church wanted to completely refinish their ceiling and illuminate the ceiling. We had workers that actually palm sanded this entire ceiling, stained it, and then put on two coats of satin polyurethane. Through our architect, our uh, interior designer, we can create the necessary tools that are needed to make a great presentation and we can present it in a way that will give the congregation a clear picture of the entire scope of work. 
One of the things that we have found out is there are interior designers that specialize in residential interior design. There's interior designers that specialize in commercial interior design. But church design is completely different. You want vibrant colors, you have stained glass windows, you want, you want to bring the church to life. You want to energize the congregation. And so the colors are, are completely unique. This is First Presbyterian Church in North Wilkesboro. This is a beautiful Gothic church that had a, another monochromatic color scheme. They had mauve carpet, white walls, and stained wood. If you'll notice, the lens and the light fixtures had a yellow cast to them. We actually took the lens out and put a white lens. This not only made the light fixtures look better, but the light output was almost doubled. In the after picture, you can see that we completely rebuilt the platform. We did a light refinishing on all of the woodwork, including the beautiful beams in the ceiling of the church. We put new carpet runners in the church. We did a light refinishing on the church and upholstered the seats of the pews. We also painted the walls and did plaster repair. The walls were, were painted an off-white color and the ceiling a bright white color. This is First Reformed Presbyterian Church in Hendersonville. This was actually a referral from the First Presbyterian Church in Hendersonville. This church had sat abandoned about 10 years. The former congregation actually took out the existing stained glass windows and took out the existing millwork inside the building. Pigeons were living in this church. The church had no protection from the exterior elements and the plaster was completely crumbling off the walls. We actually had to take all of the plaster off of the walls all the way down to the original brick, put new lathing up, and replastered the entire building. This church was on the historical register, so they wanted, to, wanted it restored back to its original condition. The floors were completely destroyed, so the floors had to be completely rebuilt. We took one of the pews that was in the original church to our pew factory, had it replicated and put pews in like the original pews were in the church. We put a new carpet runner in, put new lighting in for a complete restoration. We have evolved uh, from being church pew salesmen to a company that uh, has a specialty of uh, complete renovations. And now we provide a complete package of architectural and interior design service coupled with being uh, unlimited general contractors. Uh, license to, to do a turnkey renovation. In addition to making the church beautiful, our, if you think about it, our main goal is to make the church grow, bring more people to Christ, and that's what we really are trying to accomplish here. Mm -hmm.